The experience with animals is quite different here to what it is in Australia, so I thought I would do a little video about that. Cats and dogs in particular are absolutely everywhere because there's lots of strays which obviously don't get desexed and then they just make more puppies and kittens. The animals do get fed a lot of scraps so that keeps them going and they you know don't go hungry and they just keep breeding. So it's pretty unusual to walk like 100 meters down the road and not see an animal just as you go. Also a lot of shops have a pet um, whether that's a cat or a dog. There's a chemist just around the corner that has a little cat which they will dress up. <laughs> so in Australia that would be considered quite unhygienic and you wouldn't be allowed to do it but here it's just really normal. The store has a cat and a lot of restaurants have cats running around in them. I mean that it could be to combat the mice, maybe, um, in which case it's a really good idea. But the kids particularly love it, having all these cats and dogs around. Now, you don't pat the cats and dogs on the street because quite often they are diseased or they might not be particularly friendly. So you just admire them from afar, but the ones in the shops you can pat. We have a lovely lake um, just up the road which has like a park area where a lot of people go to exercise and just hang out. I'm very used to seeing people take um, dogs for walks and you know so there's dogs around and yep that's quite normal for me. Um, but here people take their cats for walks as well <laughs> and yeah I found that quite interesting. So people have little like backpacks that they wear like on their chest that they will have their cats in um, and then they'll put them on little collars and they'll go for walks around this little park area and the kids love going up to people and asking if they can you know pat their dog or cat and um, the animals are usually very friendly and so are the owners so yeah that's a lot of fun. So in Australia we feed the ducks, in Thailand we feed the catfish. I certainly feel very close to nature here, which is one thing I do actually quite enjoy. Um, but what I mean by that is that, for example, my kitchen is outside mostly. Um, so when I'm cooking, I have birds around my feet pecking at the things that I drop and they're getting quite uh, familiar and confident in themselves and they will come right up to where I am and you know pick up the things that I drop which is you know fine and handy and they're very cute little birds. They have however started coming into my house which I am not as keen on. Birds keep coming into my house. There's a little bird that just moseys on into my house. Are you cleaning the floor for me? Oh thank you. Quite often the door is left open because Jessica can't get in and out by herself and so it's just kind of easier. And yeah, now the birds are starting to come in. I also have an abundance of geckos. <laughs> Lying in bed and I've got two little geckos on the wall. <laughs> Good morning little gecko friends. This is my little gecko friend who lives in our bathroom between the fly screen and the sort of concrete wall who likes to watch me go to the toilet. <laughs> We've got another little baby gecko over there. They, I mean there's heaps of um, cracks and gaps in the doors and all that throughout the whole house so the, uh, the geckos can get in very easily but I actually quite like the geckos, they're very cute and they sound like squeaky toys. I don't think it looks like it. We like found a little gecko. Hey, little fella. Big one, actually. <laughs> well, yes. These are the things that sound like squeaky toys that I hear at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he is not happy. <laughs> He's scary. He wants to. He wants to bite us. Oh. I don't see a teeth. It doesn't look like it. 
twice now we've had frogs in the bedroom. Not entirely sure how I feel about that one. I mean, they're very cute and sweet, but I think I would prefer those to stay outside. It's like almost two o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep because my leg's bothering me. So I thought I'd come over here and, oh look, we've got a friendly little frog. What you doing, little fella? But really, as long as they don't like jump on my face at night while I'm trying to sleep and give me a shock, I'm, you know, happy to just let them be. And there's lots of insects and all of that kind of thing. So really, the only things that I don't appreciate are the mosquitoes, for obvious reasons, and the ants. Oh, they get into everything. So yeah, I actively combat the ants and the mosquitoes, but everything else I can deal with pretty happily. It's been fun seeing animals that we're, you know, not used to seeing and just experiencing new things, like particularly the insects. It'll be things that, you know, aren't unusual, like bees and millipedes and um, beetles and stuff like that. But they're just different to the ones that we have in Australia. And there we are. Ben's discovering the local wildlife. <laughs> Have you got a name for him? No. <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of fun experiencing that. Um, I've said before, it's like being a toddler again. Like things are just new and... <laughs> Very gentle. That's what I Yeah, gentle, sweetie. <laughs> Is that your friend? Friend. Yeah. And unlike in Australia, not every animal is deadly and trying to kill you. So um, I'm pretty confident letting the kids touch and poke things, knowing that they're probably going to be fine. And if they do get bitten, it's not going to be by something that's deadly. <laughs> we went to a petting zoo for Rachel's birthday. That was a lot of fun. Um, a few animals that I had never seen before, didn't even know what they were. Um, and then they had, you know, other common animals and then they had, you know, sort of like at a zoo, animals that would be from around the world. Um, like they had meerkats and things that I've seen in zoos before. But yeah, that was really fun. Hey, hedgehog. <laughs> Daddy, there are seriously hedgehogs. Ben, I found the book. Oh, Dan does hedgehogs. Oh, no! <laughs> you look so funny. Yeah, that's an interesting little animal.